that could have gotten a lot closer. LeBron had 17 in the fourth. I mean, Cam Thomas was heating up. Lakers are kind of already thinking about getting on the road. And I, I mean, LeBron still has that ability to close a team out and put a team on his back when he knows it's needed. Tonight it was with threes. Yeah, no, that's the best part. I mean, of course you want the Lakers to blow him out by 45. Um, but uh, that doesn't necessarily do anything for helping the team get better. How important was it for them to come out like they did in this game? That was a 17-0 lead. They built up a 21-point lead, and from there, they're in control. Obviously, they knew how critical this game yeah. was after. Because it could swing you. Absolutely. After getting, you know, t two games, uh, you know, against Milwaukee and, go, you know, and then losing to Indiana, getting a Memphis win, they knew how critical it was to expand this road trip and get the record that they're looking for. Brooklyn not really a great team. They, they knew they could beat them, in my opinion. Yeah, the, you know, this team has been up and down all season for various reasons, but uh, they've shown when either a team in a single game situation or during a short period of time, when something has their attention or, or they set their minds to accomplishing or achieving something, they've shown the ability to rise to that occasion. So when, when you start to think back over the last month or so, win a game, lose a game, but we've always felt pretty solid about the way they were playing, even though they didn't always win the games. To, to me, this game was indicative of like, they have another gear that they can go to. You know, big game, this starting group bottom line gets buckets. I mean, every single night you look at that and there's three guys with 20 or more. And it's always a different third guy. One night it's going to be D'Lo. A lot of times it's going to be D'Lo. It could also be AR. It could be Rui. Um, I think that's what's so impressive about this team. You saw Gabe Benson come back tonight, a big game, get 14 minutes. Obviously, there's going to be some rust. He's only played in five games this year. He had surgery back in early January. You know, you start to think about, man, if you can get Bando as well, maybe you start to get that depth. Now you can start to believe that you can see a path for this team. Maybe. I mean, yes, for like sure. Like LeBron said, if you're playing I mean, good basketball. You, you see a path. I mean, you, you know, you heard what LeBron said. You know, he's really concerned about how they're playing, mm -hmm. or where their land is going to be wherever they land. Uh, but, you know, getting those two players back in particular, Gator, uh, Vanderbilt, and now we have Gabe back, two critical guys on the defensive end, especially Vanderbilt gives you so many different, uh, uh, more op, uh, extra possessions, steals guy, deflects guys. Uh, you look at tonight's game, every player uh, in double figures and plus minus, they're pretty active. But the bench, only two points, but that's something that going forward, they'll need to take a look at. Uh, but because bench production is critical, but with that starting lineup, that starting lineup is solid as they come. Do a quick little round uh, on Gabe. Love what he's talking about when it comes to the defense. Hates when guys score. Big game, fish, Perez. What do you guys want to see here in these last couple of weeks, and, and, and how long will it take to kind of get back into that full playing shape and, and confident again? I want to see him take his time gradually, game by game, practice, practice, practice. You know, take these next 10 days or so, or the games that he has left, just kind of gradually make sure that he gets himself back slowly so he'll be ready uh, when the playoffs come. Get some minutes on his belt, you know, get some shots, uh, get some game time experience, you know, get, you know, get used to being back out there with the guys again. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see him try to come back too quickly, uh, but, you know, I want to see him ready when the playoffs start. Yeah, and I think they're, you know, they're going to monitor, monitor his minutes. Uh, I think, you know, minute restriction is smart. Uh, just so that you don't put too much uh, work on that knee, you know, first coming back. But as long as he continues to focus on some of the more intangible areas, then I think we'll see, you know, hopefully during the postseason, you'll see some of the offensive talent that Gabe actually does have. I mean, this guy can score the ball. But right now, defense, little things, deflections, 50-50 balls, maybe make a timely basket here or there. Pass. But once you get into the postseason, they start the game plan and they say, okay, we're putting two on AD, we're in rotation, we're leaving Gabe Vincent more open. That's the time that his legs will be there. He'll be able to make them pay. The official you nailed it. He was so good in the playoffs last year for Miami, helped the Heat beat Boston, helped them beat uh, Milwaukee. It was all offense for Gabe. You know, now, now they want him more in a defensive posture. And Darvin said he liked what he saw. And, and frankly, he played more minutes than I thought. 14 minutes, that's probably double what I figured he would play. Darvin found a way to get him in. Uh, maybe he doesn't have that luxury against a, a good team in a tight game. But uh, hey, I, I thought it was good today. And the, the offense will come based on what he did a year ago in the playoffs.